CMTV, coast to mountain television. We've got it covered. Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Israel Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones and today I'm interviewing Arie Kahlo from UTC. Hello Arie. Why is there a problem with communicating underwater? When we develop the system, uh, basically we try to duplicate uh, the, the way that dolphins are communicating between each, uh, each one of them. Uh, we use the same concept of uh, acoustic antenna that's located in the nose of the dolphin uh, and uh, we design a special unique antenna uh, that you can show it also in uh, the product. Uh, that antenna is transmitting uh, information, uh, digital information on 40 kilohertz, the same, more or less the same frequency that dolphins are communicating with, uh, between them. Uh, the difference is that we are transmitting and receiving digital uh, information. Uh, in that way, we are able to communicate up to one kilometer with the different uh, divers uh, in our group. Uh, we have a system that uh, we call it a recreational system that delivers 14 presetable messages to 14 divers in the group. Uh, we're capable to drive uh, four networks uh, for regular mission an additional one special uh, network for SOS. That special uh, uh, network is uh, broadcasting a message of diver in distress, and each one of the divers in the groups uh, capable to swim uh, using the Doppler effect that we are uh, creating uh, and locate the, dri the diver and help him and uh, rescue him. How did you manage to resolve these problems with your system? First of all, uh, the propagation uh, of waves in water is much different from air. Uh, the water is very dense, so it's creating a lot of reflections from uh, the bottom of the sea and from the waves. It depends on the, how salty is the water, if there is obstacles like rocks, uh, sheep, wrecks inside the, the, the water and uh, there is a lot of reflection created by them. Uh, we solved that uh, by uh, uh, creating a very sophisticated algorithms and uh, <clears throat> analysis of the information that we are receiving. Um, digital uh, information that uh, we develop uh, the algorithm, how to receive it and how to analyze that and a lot of uh, experiments underwater. Are you going to adapt the systems for other applications? We have the uh, basic unit that is good for uh, recreational divers. Let's assume that you go to a trip, a diving trip, uh, in the Maldivian island, and you, will, you would like to be safe. You take uh, that system, you can com communicate with the boat, you can communicate with the, all the divers in your group. Uh, that lets you feel uh, comfortable. And also, we can uh, let you know what's going on around, to, if to gather, if to go back to the ship. Uh, if something happened to you, you can press the, the SOS button and people can find you and rescue you if it's necessary. Um, that's the recreational device. We have a professional system. Uh, that system is for uh, most likely special units and underwater uh, uh, jobs that uh, you need to do. That system can deliver 28 messages, resettable messages. You can set any message that you want for any specific job. Uh, it supports 28 divers in the mission. And that uh, gives you the ability to uh, make sure that everybody in the group underwater understands what, what is each one of them uh, are doing, what is the mission. If there is any uh, problem, you can call them, you can let them know what is the next step that uh, you would like to do. Also, uh, the system is a black box that you can record all the uh, diving information and later uh, on you can analyze that. It supports uh, also a, a compass, ability to uh, navigate underwater, 
so all the feature around it, including computer, uh, uh, diving computer, allow you uh, to have a smart diving equipment uh, underwater. Thank you, Ari. CMTV, Coast to Mountain Television. We've got it covered.